What we're going to talk about today is keeping the aspect ratio of a gallery section within Squarespace. Uh, Sam Hancock emailed me and he said he has this great, uh, this beautiful page. He sells race cars and he drives them too. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, he, he sells race cars. This is a page he's building out for his 1994 Minardi M194. Minardi, I think that's the name. Um, and he's got this gallery section at the top that's sort of showing it and showcasing it. And obviously these are some beautiful images. We want to keep these images looking really good. However, on mobile, it crops them. It crops them, and that's not what we want. Um, so whenever something like this is the case, I never really recommend jumping straight into code. See if Squarespace has a way to do it on its own. So let's jump into that first and see. Hint, it doesn't. Uh, but we'll jump into the, the section editor of our gallery section. Uh, maybe play around with our gallery types. Uh, grid strips, that's not what we want. We really want a full screen slideshow. Uh, the simple, this would keep the aspect ratio and as you click through, you see the aspect ratio staying the same, that's nice. However, uh, it's not full screen. We want it to go full screen. So we could try the slideshow real. Again, same aspect ratio, good, but it's not full screen. Uh, and so full is what we have to do. However, we want to make it so it doesn't crop. So we are going to need to jump into code for this. So I'm going to hit done save. Um, and this, what I'm about to show you is, is a adaptation of another tutorial I have for regular page sections. So I have this tutorial called uh, Prevent Cropping on Background Images for a regular page section within Squarespace. This will maintain the aspect ratio of your background image uh, on any size screen, so it's pretty nice. Um, and this is the code. So let's just copy this and paste it in here. Uh, the problem with this though is gallery sections, the HTML of gallery sections is quite a bit different. It's structured, the HTML and CSS is structured differently than our regular page sections. This code that I just showed you, this is meant for a regular page section, not for gallery sections. So it's not gonna work one for one without some tweaking. The general idea will, will, will work, the general idea will work, uh, but not the whole thing. So let's just take a look at the HTML and see why it's different. So let's just, uh, let's hit right click. Let's go to inspect. Let's look at this, a quick overview of what this code is targeting. If I click on our selector, here is a regular Squarespace section. So here's our section right here. And we have this min height property on the section. So as you're editing the section height, this is the value, the CSS value that is getting adjusted. And this is the minimum height that it will be. And right here it's 66 VH which is the viewport, un viewport height unit. So it's 66% as tall as the viewport is high. Uh, so that should be about this tall. However, because we're using the min height property, this is setting the minimum height it will be, but not the maximum height or not even the actual height. It, the actual height will depend on the amount of content we have in here. And you see Sam has uh, a lot of content in here. So the height of that section has grown. It is expanded. Uh, so that is what this min height property is doing. And that is also what we're targeting over here, our min height property. So now let's look at our gallery section. I'm going to target into this, scroll up until we find our, our whole section here, do, 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 right there. So we have this, uh, where is, is this the right section? Oh, I'm not targeting the section yet. Okay, so first let's use this, uh, this tool by Heather Tovey, the Squarespace ID Finder. You can get this in the Chrome Web Store if you don't have this, but you can just target this and replace uh, this selector right here. So we're targeting this section and you'll see it popped up right down here. Uh, so we have our min height. Let's, uh, let's make this a little larger for you guys so you can see it. Um, so we have our min height property getting applied, but as you toggle this on and off, nothing is happening to this section. And that's because the, these gallery sections, their height isn't determined by the min height here. The height is determined by our gallery images, by the slideshow images. So we need to find what is the element that is determining the height. Uh, so I'm just kind of, honestly, the way I found this is you just kind of click around in the HTML until you see a value that looks right and you play around with it. I've already done that. I'm not gonna waste your time randomly clicking around. But you see further into our section right here, content down in here, we have this gallery full screen slideshow element and its height is 90, which is the height that we've given it in the gallery section editor. So this is what we want to change. And you see if I change this, this is what adjusts. So this is really what we want to be changing 
as, we want this number to be relative to the viewport width. However wide it is, ooh, sorry about that. We want it to be relative to the viewport width and that will keep our aspect ratio. Um, and so this general code, honestly, it's gonna be the same. All we need to do is change our min height to height um, and that does some weird things here, but we want to target our gallery full screen slideshow. So I'm gonna grab that class and because this is a descendant element within it, that's what we're gonna be targeting. So there we go. So now this is looking right. We still have our buttons down here and we're using our height element with our clamp. So now this might be a little different depending on what images you have in your website. These images, we're keeping it a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Depending on the aspect ratio of the images you have in your gallery section, this value will you will want to adjust. An aspect ratio is just the, the height divided by the width. Nine by 16 is 0 0.5625 times by 100% Y, as wide as the viewport, will give us viewport width, 56.25, VW. So this 56.25 is coming from our aspect ratio, 9 divided by 16, 0.5625. So if maybe your aspect ratio of your images is uh, 3 by 4, this would be 75. 3 divided by 4 is 75. So let's toggle off that little tool and look at it on mobile. So that looks great. And lastly, uh, I just wanted to show you one more thing. As you go full width, you see it gets pretty large and it's like down scrolling there. So this is a pretty large image. Uh, if you want to set the maximum height that it might be, what is the maximum height? Adjust this last value in this clamp, uh, this clamp function right here. So this is the as tall as it will get, which is 100 viewport units high. However, we need to account, we want to offset for our header here. So maybe we want to change this to 85% as high as the viewport. Now, as we go large, you'll see it sticks. It's not gonna get any larger than this. So this does mean we're going to get a little bit of cropping off the side, um, but that in this case, that's okay because we don't want these huge images that we have to scroll to see the whole images. So that amount of cropping is okay. I'm, I'm fine with that. Uh, but this is the property you can adjust uh, to set the maximum height that you want your gallery image to be, your gallery section to be. So there we go. I hope this helps um, and let me know if you have any questions. Take it easy.